Mike, we are getting our first up close look tonight at the tire fire in the Carson Midway fire burn scar that continues to keep three homes evacuated and forced the closure today of Prairie Hills Elementary School. Now that fire could burn for weeks or even months, but as bad as that sounds, it could have been much worse. We saw Zach Thaxton live in Midway tonight to explain Zach. Well, guys, the fire burning behind me is nearly impossible to put out. Take a closer look. It's burning in bales of old tires compacted together like bricks and made into a 300 yard long fence. Easily tens of thousands of tires are burning and will continue to do so. But less than three miles away, some 30 million old tires came perilously close to catching fire too. The consequences of which are almost impossible to imagine. Toxic, poisonous smoke rises from a property on Prairie Fire Point in Midway. A massive fence made of tires ended up in the path of the Carson Midway fire, putting it out virtually impossible. There's very little airspace between those tiles, if any. So basically it's a solid brick, a 2,000 pound brick of tires. Water and foam, no match for the oil laden bundles of toxins. The property owner not at fault. The fence built long before state laws restricting it. The owner helping crews in any way he can. No hesitation whatsoever. What can I do to help you? How can I make this right? What, what do I need to do? So he's been very cooperative. But less than 10 minutes away, an even bigger threat looms. A tire landfill with 30 million old tires nearly ended up in the flames path. It's the Colorado Energy Recyclers Monofill. Tires here are shredded and turned into fuel for a cement plant in Pueblo. The fire department has been trained and is prepared to fight that fire should it hit that monofill. They will shut down their facility, we will shut down the roads, and we will start moving their equipment across the road to start covering those pits if they become um, hit with, uh, with fire. Almost a decade ago, work began to separate what had been a massive single pile of tires into separate pits divided by 40 foot dirt barriers meant as a fire break. It was a disaster waiting to happen. It had been a super fun site. We'd have been done. And it would it burned for months and months and we would have huge issues with it. Originally, the state gave operators until 2019 to get rid of all the tires, but that deadline's been extended until at least 2025. As close as this fire came, it's making many people nervous. We're going to bring the players together and to try to figure out how we can make sure that something like we have with the tire fence will never happen inside that facility as long as they're shredding those tires. As we reported earlier tonight, the EPA has now taken control of this tire fire and is monitoring air and water quality in the surrounding area. As mentioned, the smoke from this fire is poisonous, is toxic, so the folks who are evacuated will remain displaced for at least the foreseeable future. As for Prairie Heights Elementary, which was closed today because of the smoke in the area, it is scheduled to be open tomorrow. Always watching out for you. Midway, Zach Thaxton, News 5.